are you ready? Cause it's Godzilla time. Videos, commentaries, yeah. Videos, commentaries, it's Godzilla, Godzilla. We do it big, Godzilla, Godzilla, Godzilla. Yeah, the big next thriller. Are you ready? What's up, guys? This is Ninja with a gun. Godzilla. Um, and today we're doing a little creative class. Uh, people have been asking us to do a creative class setup. So we're gonna go do a creative class setup so you guys can see what we do. Or this is how our classes are set up, and this is how we make these awesome gameplays for you guys. Okay. Um, I guess you can go ahead and uh, do a creative class. We'll start out with mine. Mine's the top, and his is the bottom. Yeah. Um. First off, we have high kill streak. This is one I'm really serious. I uh, put my game face on. This is Galil Dual Mag. Dual Mag. I recently found that Dual Mag uh, it gives you more ammo. So it's kind of like having scavenger, but you don't have to. You can use your still use a different first tier perk. Um, so my first tier perk is flat jacket swag. That's mandatory. All, all my classes you'll see flat jacket swag and the same kind of. See these three perks right here are kind of stable throughout my uh, pre class. Uh, um, but back up to the secondary, Python, dual wheel, uh, is the closest thing I can get to another primary. Um, besides having an ACOG, or it's like, it's like a, a mini FN pal, I guess you could say. Uh, frag, I like being able to cook, that's in like a Simtex, where, uh, you just have to stick to everything. Mm -hmm. Flashbang, uh, that's the only, only thing that I think that's really lethal, like, uh, as far as when you flash on a concussion, it's good, like, if they're running away. But if they're looking straight dead at you and we're trying to like get in there and kill them, yeah, yeah, like this, it doesn't do nothing. They can still aim at and kill you. Yeah. So this is the the only thing that's really more that's really lethal. Uh, motion sensor. You guys know how I feel about motion sensors. Uh, I think motion sensors the best equipment out there because nobody really uses camera spikes and it's just I mean it takes the place of your look. So I don't really like uh, any other like claymore. You can only use it once. Uh, you can, only things you can pretty much use once, but most sensor you can use many times as you allow it. You want to you protect it. Uh, but if you flash, it'll, it's really flash sensitive. Mm -hmm. Like if you flash it upstairs, this thing's it's gone. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, three perks: black jacket, swag. Obviously, you see, slide of him pro, black faster reload. Can't live without it. And tactical mask. Sick of getting flashed. So I'm pretty much invincible because. Flat jacket allows me not to be reduced to obviously damage of uh, explosions and fire. So like napalm strikes and that stuff and so there's no really way they can really kill me except like you force we're forcing you that if we're camping you gotta go shoot. Yeah. Um, I guess we can go ahead and see sneaky S O B. This class is my kinda not really goof around class, it's just that I'm not like if I you know, if it's you know, it's not a, if it's not a good KDR, so be it. But uh, this is kind of like going to be sneaky. Uh, I will allow it. To, well, I have the AK-74U and it's suppressed because I like being able to get out of there when I need when need be. And you can run side to side, walk side to side, in aiming down your sights. Uh, CZ-75 rapid fire. Uh, don't really. It doesn't really. I don't really care about my uh, secondaries that much. But I guess this would. Uh, be a tech effective as like a machine gun or a small machine gun. Frag, same uh, lethal tactical equipment, say how the same. Uh, so are the perks uh, for, for the most part. Hardline is the only thing that's different. Yeah, uh, hardline. Good, thank you for pointing that out. I was just blending right in. Uh, <laughs> Go hardline. Those big heavy flat jacket guys. Yeah. Uh, hardline, the reason why I don't really trust, like if I get a high kill streak, that's awesome. This, this, this is kind of the way I feel about it. Because AK-74 you suppress is not that, like, it's not that, it doesn't really damage you a lot. So, you get to take a whole month, a whole clip. So, if I, I want to try to get that kill streak as soon as possible before I screw it up. And that's why I have Hardline Pro. Uh, but I guess we can go ahead and move on. Spaz 12, suppressed, love it, this is the best shotgun. Besides the stakeout, that stakeout is good if you want to be loud. Yeah, I love stakeout. Yeah, but I like, I like how the Spaz 12 is suppressed. I really do. So, you can still be sneaky, but still be whooping ass at the same time for as close range. Uh, if you, uh, look, it's big. If the gun's big, it's big. Uh, it's kind of like, look at that. It's like, it's big. It's really long, yeah. Uh, far as, uh, Python dual belt again. Far as, it's the closest thing that I can get to. Far as being more damaging. Still, 
That looks big too. Yeah. Uh, frag, flashbang, most essentially the same. And my perks are pretty much the same as, uh, and, yeah. Uh, camper. This is my camping class. When I am camping, I got, I, like, I, if I know I have a spot on a, spot on a map, for instance, firing range, excuse me, uh, hangar 18, uh, I will use this, uh, live as a couple of them that I camp on that I know I'll pull off this class and I can go tail on it. Uh, so, yeah, I use this class a lot, often. Um, CZ75, rapid fire, and then the perks are pretty much the same because I'm like, people are always trying to frag you or simtex you or like throw a rocket at you or even bring an RC car to the equation. Um, so I'm just sick of that. Uh, ghost, there's no really reason for ghost because when you shoot, they can see you. Yeah, if you're I'm, camping, they know where you're going to kill the couple of them. Yeah, so you're I mean, like, camper, you know. and, I, and the way I like how they know over there, I want them to come back because it just gives me more kills. I, I, I sometimes I'll shoot to like for let, alert them that I'm here. Come get me. Uh, when people call you a camp a little bitch, uh, it makes you it makes them look pathetic because they know where you are and they can't kill you. Mm -hmm. That you know they mm -hmm. mess with their yeah. media. Like if they're coming up there getting shot down by you or if they're trying to make it to you. Like if you're in free for all and they're trying to make it to you and getting shot down every time they turn around, it messes them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get mad. Make them hate. Um, it's the same pretty much. Uh, it's a stable free perk. And my last one, it's my favorite perk of all time. It's named uh, Flat Jacket uh, Swag. Uh, for this is a FAMAS Dual Mag. AKA the bitch guy. Keep going. Um, FAMAS, a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. I have, I don't really hate no gun on uh, Black Ops. Mm -hmm. uh, 16? It's okay, but I mean, like yeah. for long range. It's, it's a good for long range, uh, but I'll choose the uh, G11 over that. But back to this. Yeah, fourteen. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Famas dual mag. Love it because it gives you more ammo without having to. Because the Famas is always running low on ammo because the fire is so fast. Like, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your clip because you need to reload yeah. now. You need to reload. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you you're always gonna win close range battles if you push. You know, if you're good close range. You know, you're not really a panic. What you can know how to. I don't know how to explain this thing. You can fire on the spot. You know, you don't have to like. What, what was that? It uh, has such a fast fire rate that you'll catch up to them by the time they've caught you. Like, once they pull out on you and begin to start shooting, and you stop and start shooting, your fire rate's faster. So, they, yeah, more, more bullets are coming yeah. out. And uh, Python, the same thing pretty much um, as it all, as always. Same, same three perks and the same, you know, that's, that's just the primary mostly changes and sometimes the secondary. But other than that, they're all almost the uh, same because that's the way I uh, my, my, my uh, Call of Duty life. Uh, span. It depends on these three perks right here, and uh, I could live without anything else. As long as I had a flat jacket and a motion sensor, I'd be okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, <coughs> wraps it up for his. His is at the top. That's Godzilla. Well, this is Midge with the gun here. Uh, here's my five right here. They're all called by their names. Those flashy names and like that. They are what they are. This is my F16 class. It was for a while my top use class, but now I've kind of gotten into the AK-47 feel, and I've been messing around with the Caparis, I don't know how to spell it, pronounce it, the Keeper, the Caparis, whatever it's called, messing around with that, but uh, the M16 is for when I know I'm going to be doing some long range, and people running up on the camp, and I got the master key, under barrel shotgun, whatever you want to call it for, you run out of ammo and any of that, I got my secondary with the pythons, boom, 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 and then just like Mason, same thing here with the equipment will never change. That is one thing that will absolutely never change. My perk yeah. one may change, but perk, but perk three, mainly perk two and three, and then all my equipment, lethal, tactical, and equipment will never change. All that stuff will never change. But uh, perk one's flag jacket on this, and I used to use ghost a lot, but you know, I could, oh, excuse me, I can see a camp and people throwing stuff at me and killing me because I can't move away fast enough. So now I don't even have to flinch whenever they throw. Unless it sticks and it pisses me off. Well, RC comes up in there really a lot. That's two things I hate is RC cars, Hacker Pro, and then the Tomahawk. But uh, it's funny how Ninja with the gun, I just thought I'd point this out. He made a point in one of his commentaries. It's funny how the, if you can stand on top of CMX, a Simtex, but it won't kill you. Mm -hmm. But Lord, heaven forbid it sticks to you. <laughs> yeah, if it sticks to you, it kills you. But you stand on top of it, it does. That make me mad. But uh, I feel like where it sticks, like crossbows, for instance, if they stick you in the face of the crossbow, you should die from impact, personally. But if they stick you in the chest or something, you shouldn't die. I personally feel like it shouldn't kill you. But any sticks automatically kill you, and that sucks. Man. Anyway, I'd rather have 
no kill streaks or sticks can kill me than the stupid napalm crap because no one uses a flamethrower and you know if, it's my, if I'm dumb enough to be around a napalm crap it's my fault whatever anyway I'm gonna bitch I'm gonna bitch uh oh go over here's the glue about renamed it here's the glue hardly actually ever use that glass and I need to change something because I never use I use ghost pro on that actually so let's change that you saw a little quick change right there actually use ghost for that oh we do have everything in tier 1 pro out tier 2 pro out and tier 3 everything but marathon and hacker hacker just no one wants to use the playmore anymore I never use the playmore anymore and I don't really feel like messing up my KD trying to mess with the C4 and marathon, I don't know, I just hate it. There's, there's no need for it. You know, we're not gonna proud on necessary things to say we did it. You know, we wanna enjoy our gameplay. Yeah. So, uh, like, it's the, the point of marathon. Like, the only thing, the reason why you would want to use marathon is to capture the flag. Capture the flag is when it really depends on your speed and being lightweight. Switch that up too. Okay. <laughs> but uh, so those are my first two. Is AUG. That is to me, it's my Famos replacement. You know, the Famos broke my heart so sick everybody using it feel like it cheated on me and then they go and patch it so that made me very happy they didn't patch it a minute and I'm glad <laughs> thanks Triarch ah, they didn't they made, they made all the I feel like they didn't more. patch it I didn't feel like they didn't patch it strict enough but whatever you know whatever they said I wish they'd unpatched the knifing they patched obviously they patched the knifing from Modern Warfare 2 from freaking yeah. Infinity War man I hate the knifing anyway oh. we're not going to get onto that right now we get onto that whenever you see us fail a couple knives in our videos we'll talk about it a bit there but uh, here I got the EG fast fire rate dual mag extra max. I mean, we keep dual mag usually. Yeah, I usually love dual mag on the automatic. Dual eleven minutes. Draw eleven minutes. Oh, okay. Dual mag uh, for the for the ammo situation. Then I got the AK forty seven, which is what I've been using for the most part. It's one of my favorite guns, I guess. <clears throat> Has really really strong, and it usually kicks only up. So if you start out around the stomach to the penis area, you'll get you'll end up with a headshot. I guarantee if you just hold down the trigger. So, uh, if they're not moving. And then here's my fun class. This is, honest to God, this is this is what I play around with. This is new to me, using the Caparis or whatever. Dual wheel with Scavenger and Steady Aim Pro. Just camping, just camping somewhere where there's only one entrance with a motion sensor. People run up on you, brrr, people try to shoot you, you hit the crossbow on them. I think it's really fun, you know, it's just really fun to see. And uh, these are my classes, and I think if I had to choose a favorite out of all my classes that if I could just take this complete class setup to me, with me, Modern Warfare 2, I mean 3, good lord. Hmm. I think it'd have to be the AK-47 class. I think I'd take this exact setup right here to, to, to Modern Warfare 2. I would get it from you. I would want, because you know, like, I would want the Galil, because the Galil wasn't all Modern Warfare 2, and the AK-47 was automatically, if they, 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 I know they're putting the AK-47 mm -hmm. on Modern Warfare 3, they'd be retarded not to, because that's the gun that's but, very popular and it's in every Call of Duty so far, so it, I don't see why it wouldn't be. And I would choose a Galil because I don't, you don't know if we're gonna be putting it back or not. Uh, I'm just thinking of like, as soon as I get there, I don't have to worry about like prestige and starting over. What I what I use the most right now, that's pretty much what I'm saying. I use this. Oh, most. I mean yeah, but I mean like, like cause I hardly ever use that Galil. But if you can choose one gun, like you never want to like if it was like that. It's not our. Okay, let's just say they're gonna take every gun off and you can only thumb one gun. Then for me, then that would be the AK. Now what is it for you? If it was, that would probably be the full box, because I don't catch. No. No, 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 no. It'd probably be the way the spice world is. I love the way the spice world yeah. is. Uh, because it really does. It makes a difference as far as not having to reload like, pump yeah. it. Pump I think it, it was pump coming. on Modern Warfare 2. I don't remember what it is. Uh, we're at 13, almost 14. I'm yeah. trying to keep track of time, you know. Cause Techno man over here. Yeah. Make sure we don't run out. But that's our classes here, and uh, things may change. Things always change. But uh, this is Deuces from Ninja with a Gun. Zilla, uh, peace out, guys.